In this example, I'm going to solve three equations of the form a times x equals b, where a and b are numbers. The first one, 3 times x equals 6. If I'm wondering what this value of x is, this is what I'm trying to find. I could probably determine that x has to be 2 in this case, because 3 times 2 equals 6. But what are the algebra steps that are involved to actually finding that value? What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by the value that's multiplied times x. So what I'm doing is creating a form of 1 on the left-hand side. So 3 divided by 3 gives me 1. And on the right-hand side, I get my result, which is 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So it's sort of like if the piece that I want is part of a multiplication, then to find that piece, I'm going to need to do a division. So if I want to do a check here, I would check, as I kind of did at the start, multiplying 3 times 2, and does that equal 6? And it does, so there is my check. Same thing on this one, 12 times what number equals 24? Well, that number is going to have to be 2, but again, the official mathematical process is that I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by the same number. And that number is a form of 1 that will reduce, because 12 is a common factor for 12x and then 12, and reduce, and on the right-hand side give me my result. So again, we have another way to get x equals 2. Let's do a check. Does 12 times 2 equal 24? And yes, it does. So there we have our check. Part C is a little bit different. 2 times what number equals 20? Well, you can probably figure out that that number has to be 10. So again, our process is we're going to divide both sides by a form of 1, or we're going to create a form of 1, I should say. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and so the left-hand side becomes 1 times x, 20 divided by 2 is 10, so there's how we get our 10. Let's do a check, does 2 times 10 equal 20? And yes, it does, so there we have our check.